Hi there, and welcome to another five minute tutorial where I teach you how to play an entire song in just five minutes. Today's song is perfect by Ed Sheeran. I absolutely love this track, so I'm stoked to teach you guys how to play it. Make sure to check out the description below for full lyrics with chords on top of them, as well as how to play each of the chords and any other techniques covered in this video. So first things first, let's look at the song structure. We've got our verse, pre-chorus, and chorus that it starts with, and then a little musical interlude for a section there. And then that same thing repeats, and then we go to a bridge, another chorus, another little musical interlude part, and then we're done. So there are four guitar parts in this song. Thankfully, the same four chords are used in each of these parts, just in slightly different patterns. There's a few important things to look at in this one. The first is triplets are the main rhythm of this song. Basically, a triplet is if you have a one, two, three, four beat, we're going to play three times evenly spaced in between each of those beats. So what that's going to look like on a guitar is something like this. The downbeat is played harder, and then it's lighter for the second two strums. The second part of the song that kind of gives it the waltzy, slow dance kind of feel is called a syncopated rhythm, which is basically just you play a long note and then a short note. So that'll look like this. Okay, so let's begin with the first section. This is the section that's played for both of the verses, and this one's nice and simple. We're just going to do that same rhythm I started with, with the triplets, and we're just going to do triplets on each of the chords, and we're going to go on the chord progression of G to E minor to C to D. And put your capo on the first fret, and you're ready to go. So the second part of the song, now we're going to move into the pre-chorus, and this is the same for both times. This section is also played in the bridge. You can stay on those triplets if you want, or you can add in that syncopated, long, slow rhythm that we were talking about a little bit earlier. It's on the same chord progression, we've just got one change this time, is that it runs through the G, E minor, C, D twice, but on the first time, instead of going to the D, you go back to the G first, and then switch to the D. So I'll play this and show you what I mean with the syncopated rhythm. So you see there I switched the G before the D. So in the bridge, the chord progression is still G, E minor, C, D, except we only run through it once this time, so unlike the pre-chorus, you don't have that first round where you switch from the G to the D. Okay, let's move on to the third section. So this one I like to make it a nice, full, slow, but still energetic melody. The chord progression uses the same chords, just in a slightly different order. So this time we're going to go from an E minor to a C to a G, and then a D. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to play two times on the beat, and then I'm going to add an up strum in that long, slow, waltzy, syncopated rhythm we've been talking about. So I'll show you what I mean. third chorus, um, you play the chorus normally with your E minor, C, G, D pattern. The only thing is you end this time where he goes, and I don't deserve this, you look perfect tonight. So he adds on, a, there's kind of that second addition to the chorus, 
and you end on a C and a D and a G. And then you go into that outro musical interlude. So then the final section, which we just see twice, we see it in the interlude after the first chorus and in the end of the song after the final chorus. And it's just a really quick musical part. We've got G, D, E minor, D, C for twice as long, and then D for twice as long. So this one's pretty fast. It's got good changes, so I'll show you two ways you can do it. You can just play the chords, or you can add in that long, slow, waltzy feel. So if you're just playing the single beat, it's going to be like this. And then if you want to make that a little more challenging, you can add in the up strum a bit there too to add that syncopation. The only difference in the outro is then you end on the G to kind of resolve the song and have a nice smooth ending. So that'll look like... Okay, that's it. That is everything for the song. If you can learn those four parts, you can play the song in its entirety. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel, where you can learn to play your favorite songs in just a few minutes. My goal is to release new videos every day, so come and join me, let's play some guitar.